Hello guys, this is Onyx from Onyx Games uh, and welcome to this stream, to Retripe uh, uh, stream. And um, I'm creator of a game called Janosik 2 uh, and today I will work on uh, level design. In fact, actually, uh, I will uh, try to finish whatever I started in the last stream. So uh, in the last stream I was uh, working on the level design. I was trying to build a level and uh, I had a couple kind of uh, key points when I was building levels, so maybe I will remind that. And um, let's see mm, what what I wanted to do was um, um, a level that um, it's you will get a reward which is uh, uh, which is grappling hood and um, in this level i am i kind of showed you a little bit of my creative process so uh, first thing i wanted to have a reason to be there um, and f f for the player in that level and that reason was actually this grappling hood uh, the another thing was the reward yes that's uh, one and the same thing that was grappling hood, uh, the level structure. I wanted to kind of avoid um, backtracking, so uh, this level it's in the shape of a loop. Uh, so uh, you start in one point, you go around this level, and you will finish uh, at the beginning uh, almost, uh, and uh, that way we can avoid the backtracking. So that's uh, um something that I wanted to do because um it should be in my mind it should be easy for players um a game should be kind of player for friendly and um what else um I started building little areas there and uh, today I will actually work on those areas uh, as well so uh, we will um We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Uh, well, hello to everyone on the chat. Uh, with me is Digger as well. This is my operator. Hello, Digger. Hello. How are you today? Fine. Um, Very good. <laughs> great, great, great to hear that. Is it hot there in, in Poland today? Yes, yes, it really is. I, I'm melting right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah I'm in Ireland and um, it's, it's quite hot today as well. So... Uh, uh, probably it's it not even how how many degrees is it there, Digger? Uh, something like 30, 32, 35. It's it's really hot, really. really oh. hot. so you melting there? <laughs> Hello, Rinoa. Hello, Small Bros. Very nice to see you guys. How are you? How are you guys today? Um, Small Bros. It's uh, um, it's my friend Ivan from Italy. And he's working on a game called Biota. Uh, how is it in today in Italy? Is it uh, hot or cold or rainy? Uh, don't worry, you don't have to answer me now. You can write me later on in the chat. Um, and Rinoa, that's my sister, actually. Uh, I told her, uh, she, she, uh, uh, and, and she came. Thank you very much, Rinoa. Uh, well, that's, that's Monica, actually, but <laughs> her nickname uh, for on, on this stream, it's Renoa. Stormy weather in Italy. Oh my goodness, stormy weather. It's, uh, I hope you will not have a tornado. Um, I think tornado happened in Czech Republic or something like that, as far as I remember uh, a couple of days ago. So, uh, well, anyways, <laughs> I hope it will be nice and, and sunny after a while. <laughs> Uh, let's go back to my level design. Um, uh, so let's go to another page. Uh, today, uh, oh, it's just quick reminder. The level name it's hook, uh, hook and grapple actually should be because um, that's the reward. I I just quite quick quick reminder. I try to name all the levels. Uh, because uh, it's part of my creative process, basically. When I name something, it's it's easier for me to remember. Uh, and the name could be a mission uh, name, or or it could, could be shape of the level, uh, or could be anything um, to do with the level. It might be, um, let's say, um, 
a place uh, like armory or, or kitchen or something like that, uh, or even even um, uh, a way to beat the level. So uh, let's say you have a level where um, you will have to do, um, let's say you have loads of spiders. So let's say beat, beat the spider or something like that. Or uh, you have double jump uh, skill, and uh, that's the best way to to use that in that level. So so maybe a level could be named after that. Uh, so I'm trying to name all those levels uh, as close um, uh, as well as close as possible. Well, I, I try to basically give them a name, proper name. Um, well, in this level, like I mentioned. Uh, uh, reward it's a, a grappling hood and last thing to remind from the last stream it's a shape of a loop so i quick show you how does it look in my construct so it looks it, look, it looks like that you start over there and uh, I, there is little red square so i quick show you you start over there you go here and um you will go this way and you know through all the loop and you will finish this way so at the end you will have grappling hood and you can go out and go back uh, to the main level to the hoop level so that that's the whole loop it just looks like that uh, okay um okay so um what else happened last um last week um Oh yes, I got the I got the package, uh, and in that package, maybe someone remembers I got uh, uh, some special special delivery, and in that package was a spider. So uh, so <laughs> now um, this spider is my friend. I have to I have to tell you guys. I I'm uh, it's um, I name him. I name him, and I name him uh, Wilson. He must be somewhere here in the room. He's very friendly, although I don't go very close to him because uh, it might be dangerous. But uh, he must be somewhere in the room. Wilson, where are you? This might be there in the drawer. No, 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 I can't see him. Well, maybe I will find him later on or maybe he will uh eventually show up so i'm not sure where he is um wilson where are you hmm. can't see him anyways uh when i see wilson i will show you guys because he's a very friendly spider so <laughs> let's get to to this level and um today um by the way if you want me to add something to the level or um, you have any ideas let me know in the chat so maybe we can work on this my idea for the level this is like old ruin and in this in this ruin there was maybe some kind of old battle and we got there and in the dungeons of those this ruin um, you will find a, a, a treasures enemies this grappling hood and uh, uh my another idea is that if that was a battle that should be some kind of like outpost or something like that uh and um some people used to live here so if they lived here they had to have a rooms to live like place to eat place to store their weapons place where they can train um, and you know so on so on things like that so uh, uh i think it would be good approach to actually add things like that when um uh when you know you in place like that you need you know couple things uh you know because it's, those are humans basically and they live there so uh, as you know all humans we have our, our needs so we all need to eat for instance 
we all need to uh, go to toilet for instance so maybe toilet would be <laughs> a good idea uh, somewhere and we need to drink uh, so um, you know some kind of uh, water well um, uh, could be there as well oh, things like that things like that so um, or and uh, we all need to sleep as well so there should be a place where uh, where um, people could sleep so um let's get to it let's get to it let's add a few rooms here um oh hello yellow crusher i'm just looking at, at, at the chat and small bros says no it's good f uh, from my point of view uh, i bet it's good because if it's too hot it's not good <laughs> So if it's a little bit uh, rainy, that would be probably better. Um, okay, guys. So um, let's add a few rooms here. Let's add a few rooms. And um, I have a couple of rooms in my, uh, in my uh, list. Maybe we start with the first one, Armory. And armory could be, I suppose, if that's the walls that they have to defend, the armory should be actually close uh, to those walls. Uh, so just maybe straight at the beginning. Or maybe I will add extra room over there. And in the armory, of course, uh, we can get some supplies. So. Uh, I will select my brown stone and I will do a little entrance there to the armory. It probably doesn't have to be very big. Something like that. And they could store a couple of things there. Um, I will add a couple of stones. So right. Basically we need like a square room. And in this room we will have a couple of things. Uh, but we start with a very basic thing, a wall, background wall. So uh, I just use the style that simulates wall uh, and I just put wall around this place. Yeah, something like that. Um, I always like to add shadows, so I add shadows uh, here and there because um, that looks more more plastic. I suppose and um okay so we have basic room we add few decorations like uh, well not decorations cracks um on those walls and uh maybe a couple of stones here and there and they make a shadow as well so That's the background, and um, now we add some more decorations. So that's another layer of decorations, and in this layer, <laughs> um, I will add some things. What uh, what could be in the armory? Some places where you can store weapons. Um, I have like another stand which is empty. Or maybe that's that's better one actually. Some two empty um stands. Um maybe we'll add we'll add an armor or we have also an uh, on old shield. Oh that's nice actually. Oh that looks like a bow target or something like that. 
not very pretty and um, but uh it's old it's destroyed so it could be fine and um i had an armor oh something like that that will look nice somewhere here no. or maybe i will add that here in the passage so straight away we know that um that this room has something to do with uh, uh with weapons and i had somewhere somewhere a kind of like an armor oh yes i have those two one it's brand new and the other one is rusted so i will use the rusted because um uh, because it's an old place and finally i will add some maybe spider's web i put them in the corner over there so um uh, something like that something like that so a little armor place and um uh, i'm just thinking maybe there this place it's kind of uh ruined uh, and there was some collapse and i have um like a obstacle that you have to use the um, the bomb to, to blow up this obstacle it's like a couple stones so maybe i will block that uh, that place with that obstacle and i will just find it and i will put it there Hopefully it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's my object bank. I have all the objects here in that in one place. So I can easily go there and copy and, and place in the place when, where I need them. So um, I put that over there. And um, in order to get to that room, you will have to blow up this. Um, this pile of stones using bump and it has to be some reward there i think um and what's better for armory uh, i think the best would be something to do with the weapons like uh pistol or, or bombs or uh or something like that maybe we put pistols and bombs uh, in that place I will go to my object bank. It's so many objects, but oh yeah, I can see there and there. And maybe a little heart um, could be there as well. And we just place that. So. That's pistol and that's that's the bomb uh and it makes sense if you use bomb to blow up this one you will get another couple of bombs uh, it gives you three six or nine bombs depends what level you are um but um you will get a couple more bombs from armory to blow up more things uh, in the game so um that's one little room there done let's see what we have uh, um next kitchen and place to eat place to store the food water well so all things um that we need to 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 to, to leave um and uh, things like uh, uh kitchen i start maybe with kitchen somewhere there could be could be kitchen and so I just moved that one. <laughs> Maybe this room could be could be a kitchen. Uh, kitchen and and place where we can eat as well. So uh, actually, I should say, uh, yeah, eating room and, and kitchen that would be maybe on one level, so people don't have to go. I don't know level uh, down to to bring the food to 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 the soldiers. 
So let's say we 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 put everything on one level, just a little bit longer. Uh, so uh, I will increase size of that room. There is a little skeleton I added last time. Maybe it's a cook, <laughs> and uh, he's just lying over there, starved to death. <laughs> or he was protecting um, the kitchen, and and he died. I don't know. I like to think, um, uh, or kind of to talk to myself when I do things like that. Uh, it's. I don't know. It's part of again my creative process. I think I suppose when I uh, when I chat and to myself, it's just easier to design. Um, right. Well, we have plenty of room over there. Do we need that? Maybe no. Um, maybe no. But maybe we'll do a little secret room there. So uh, let's say little secret room, and it will be hide it, so no one will see it. Maybe the cook had little secrets there uh, in that room. And um, again, we started with uh, with the walls. Maybe some kind of brick walls, actually, this time. Uh, yeah, I think that looks better for kitchen, kind of. <laughs> like, almost, yeah, like bricks or... or... Yeah, I, I like that more. It, it looks more like a kitchen. Uh, all right, and above actually, maybe we add uh, this. It's kind of dark there, so I will add some kind of darker background. I will put loads of that around so we don't see the sky. <laughs> so, um, right. How big is the kitchen and place to, to eat? Um, let's say, well, kitchen will be up to up to this wooden uh, board. And uh, after that, we have our dining room. And the dining room, um, Maybe it would be just wood. Yeah, I think I would be quite happy to eat in some kind of restaurant with, where everything is wooden. Of course, it's kind of an old place, so it will be... Um, the wood will be kind of, you know, uh, have cracks and will be old and dirty and things like that. So it's um, yeah, it's just old place. Uh, seems like it's underground. And that's why we probably can't have windows. Uh, that would be it's a little bit strange if you have windows underground. So um, I will not add windows, maybe not. I will add a couple more uh, decorations. Mm. What else we can add? Oh, let's say, no, I think that's it basically here. Maybe, oh yeah, a little bit of wood there. A little bit of shadow. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, that looks okay. But now um, we have to add some decorations in the kitchen. So let's get to it. 
flare of decorations. So what we'll have in the kitchen? Oh yes, maybe a big barrel of wine. That's that's all soldiers need, at least in old movies. I remember a movie um, from Disney, an uh, old one, Zorro, and there was like, um, uh, uh, well, the soldiers were there, and um, well, there was a soldier called uh, Sergeant Garcia as well. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but he liked wine a lot. That was his favorite drink. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that would be something like, like that little cup or for the wine uh no we don't need that and um well that's a kitchen so we need like a fireplace where we can make food i guess well something like that that looks old enough i think it's not new anyway <laughs> And uh, we need some tables, of course, where we can cut, cut the food. But, well, it's all destroyed. It's all old, old. So um, I, I have kind of a couple, you know, destroyed things here. And uh, that makes sense because um, if that would be new, that would be a little bit strange. And all right, and a little bit of um, old bricks and things like that. Hmm, that looks old. And maybe a little bit of this ivy here. Yeah, why not? Would that be? No, I don't think that will work. Um, yeah, I have one idea what you could add. Um, a place where you can store the food as well for, for making meals. So uh, we'll add another little room where, uh, where, uh, where they can store, store the food. And we maybe add a few skeletons over there. Maybe not exactly human skeletons, but let's say a pig skeleton or something like that. So that that would be good. Uh, okay, I think we almost have it. I want to add maybe one more decorations there. One more, it's like a wooden board. Yeah, something like that. So it doesn't look empty. Yeah. Or maybe like this. And a little knife hanging over there. That looks totally like a kitchen. That looks good. And why not add a little broom? Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. And I don't know what is that. It's just a little bit of something. <laughs> uh, but uh, kitchen looks good. Kitchen looks good. Maybe empty bottle. Yes. Somewhere there. Oh. Didn't be over there. The skeleton. I think I will move him a little bit. Over there, actually, that's maybe better. Anyways, um, he is sitting. He has to sit on something. Um, well, maybe a, a, some kind of box or something like that. Later on, I will add that. Uh, but uh, for now, I, I'm quite happy with the kitchen, but uh, I'm not entirely happy with the place where uh, with the dining room, with uh, people where I can eat. Oh. 
how is on the chat probably quiet today uh, if you guys have any suggestions uh, or anything let me know i would be uh, happy to add something and digger if you have any suggestions uh, as well if you have any questions uh, from yourself uh, you're most welcome let me know for example uh, how long it takes you to complete one idea for example one level one level uh, well we spent already hour and a half uh, but it's also there is a little bit of invisible work planning uh, an idea so it's not like i have just empty uh, empty page and i start just drawing something and oh, oh that looks good that's great there is a little bit of planning before that there is a little bit of, of planning so i have to came up with the name uh with um things to do in the level uh with um i don't know some rewards that you can get in the level secrets things like that and so then i start making level uh it usually takes around a couple hours and very often i can't measure that really properly because i uh, start the level and um when i have a novel you know building that level i go and they build maybe different level or maybe i start work on some animation or, or something else and then after a two three days uh, i will get back to the level and i finish it but let's say uh, if i have a kind of good idea I need like two days for a level, uh, maybe three days, um, and uh, that would be probably answer to your question. Let's say three days to be on the safe side. Depends on the size of the level, of course. And how many levels uh, your game is going to have? Um, that I don't know, but loads. Look at the Act One how many levels we have i will just count them uh one two three four five six seven twenty-five levels or something like that in one act so i suppose it will be something like 75 uh levels because the uh, game will have three acts uh, so um but those levels sometimes they're small uh um uh, Although you can spend a lot uh, of time in small level if it's uh, if it's kind of uh, tricky, so um, well it doesn't matter. I, you didn't ask about time, but I suppose uh, in the game we'll have around seventy-five levels, something like that. So, so only creating of creation of the level it takes a lot of time. Uh... It game. takes, yeah, yeah. Creating the game. So it's not only programming and preparing graphics, animations, it's also the level design itself that takes tons of time and preparations. It you takes. Know? You have to like that, I suppose. It, it's um, not just it's... painting, because the thing you were doing is, oh, I'm painting, it's, it's nice, but it's taking time. It's a, taking a lot of time. It's one level. Okay, I finished uh, half of the level in one day, but I have to do another level and another level. So it's it's really time consuming. It's time consuming, but um, when you have ideas um, and the reason for those levels, um, it would be kind of not too too complicated. Well, uh, not uh, it's not bad, <laughs> you know, because um, let's say we have a, a castle. Uh, and uh, that's kind of main idea for um, for Act One. And in this castle, uh, we will have a couple of things around the castle, like uh, maybe small village. Maybe there will be level with um, um, with the armory, for instance, a big armory level. Uh, there will be another uh, level around that. I don't know, a couple levels um, that make sense. And um, I can basically go to Wikipedia and see how the um, uh, medieval castles were built, what they had. And I can start building, you know, uh, levels around what I found in Wikipedia. And uh, uh, and that makes sense to me. 
that makes sense. So it's not um, too bad, but it's also quite interesting. Definitely, you will have to put a lot of thought in, into the level. It's not like a, a simple path. Um, at least it's not in my case. Um, as you see, um, uh, I kind of, you know, um, discussing with myself, working on that level, and uh, uh, and I put lots lots of thought into that. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, um, oh yeah. Uh, you said that you were looking, for example, for, uh, at the castle when you were do going to do something. Uh, are you doing some, uh, you know, projects on paper, for example, before you start uh, doing this in program, or you? How big of you, of research uh, you're doing uh, to make a level, for example? Um, a little bit of research. Um, sometimes um, I just discuss that with someone. Let's say uh, I will do like a. Uh, brainstorm uh, it you know it could be you for instance and we we I, I tell you for instance well I have um, like a medieval village uh, to design and what what should I do there and uh, we'll be brainstorming and thinking about ideas and you tell me that uh, maybe there will be a little fisherman uh, place or maybe there will be a, maybe a market place or something like that and uh, um, and uh it might look like that but also if uh, um sometimes i go to internet and i do a little research wikipedia is good source or um you know google basically i can just you know uh, look how how some places looked and that could inspire me i don't they not as you see, they're not kind of realistic, hundred percent or something like that. But uh, at least you will have, you know, some simple imitations of those places, like kitchen or you know, or something like that. It's um, or, or or armory. Yeah, it's just you know, imitation of armory. But uh, I like to kind of you know um, do do something like that. And I use paper uh, at least. But very often, but I also use an interesting software called um, Milanote. It's a free software, and um, it's kind of good to make diagrams or um, or kind of um, general ideas what to do where. And uh, for instance, in this um, diagram, I have like hub level. That's my tree level, and I just put a couple of things around around that place. So uh, there will be <clears throat> a level where you have to rescue blacksmith, and you will receive a bomb, you know, and things like that. So uh, I put them in, in that software, and uh, I can go there and very easily add more, more things. Um, um, but paper, I use paper a lot. I, I use paper a lot. It's great tool. Um, I can actually show you. <laughs> and well, it's lots of you know um, different. Probably you will not recognize that, but um, uh, you know that's that's my drawings. <laughs> it's kind of wait, wait. me. I'll try to show it on the full screen. Okay. Yeah, okay. Show us. Show us. Show us. Can you see that? Oh. Sorry, my, my daughter, I think they went here and they put, you know, their drawings on top of it. <laughs> but uh, I can still understand that. So, yeah. so um, um, it's, yeah, it helps me, helps me a lot uh, when I just, you know, put kind of a couple things on the paper. And uh, I have that. It's like a plan and I know where to go uh, when I have something mm. like that. So, yeah, yeah. Kaspius, paper is good. Kaspius asks, how do you get ideas and inspiration for the levels? I think we actually answered that question just now, but if you have anything to add, uh, Martin, maybe? Um, yeah, well, I, I, I need a reason, like you said, uh, to, to make a level. So um, if um, the game itself, it's, uh, may, uh, it's uh, placed in medieval times, uh, then I will research what people did in medievals, 
and well obviously it will be like, like like a castle and i will research then what uh, places in castle uh for people where you know um uh, um what, what you had in the castle and i start making those 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 places but um is there any other kind of um well it could be anything it could be movie uh it could be um i don't know some graphics or or, or something i've seen or something i discussed with someone and that could inspire me and uh, I can I can start work, work on something like that. I tell you a quick interesting thing. Um, I have my uh, publisher, which is Retrovibe. We're just uh, we are on Retrovibe channel, and um, uh, I talk from time to time with um, with Krzysztof, uh, who who is the um, well would be. The boss, not my boss, but I suppose he's the um, uh, the guy who runs Retrovibe with some other guys. But uh, I talk with him a lot, and um, from these talks, we sometimes get brilliant ideas. And uh, I recently chat with him about um, one thing that uh, when you have a game, I would like to uh, put a little bit of background. So you can feel that um, when you play that game, it's something bigger. It's not only passages and uh, rooms and you just go from um, A to B and you finish the level and that's it. Um, it could be maybe good to add some suggestions about um, um, that th there, there is like a deeper kind of world uh, back there. And he suggests me quite interesting thing uh, that I could add maybe uh, I think from other legends because this game is based on legends, uh, but it's legends about the Anoshik. Uh, but there are also other folk hero, her heroes, and uh, well, that was the most kind of creative idea. Um, stay with me. He told me that I could add. Um, couple items that will suggest uh, some other legends and um, that might be let's say a rock with um, with the uh, sword in it by the lake so uh, when probably people see something like that they might think about King Arthur uh, from Albion, Le Albion uh, legends and um, um, I really like that idea, and I thought it's really, really cool to actually add a little bit, you know, um, uh, of um, interesting things about different folk heroes. But now, um, um, it, it doesn't have to be complicated. It could be actually like a rock and the uh, and the stone, and it could be based by the lake or something like that. So um, straight away, if people will think that. Uh, but how about other heroes? And uh, there, there was a Robin Hood as well. Uh, so and there could be a, a bow and um, I don't know, a little hat, green hat or something like that. So we came up with an idea that I can add things like that around the game, uh, but um, I could kind of um, describe a hero uh, or. Uh, a suggestion only by two items. So uh, if I add bow, for instance, no one probably will kind of connect that with uh, Robin Hood. Uh, if that would be just bow, you might think, oh, it's just a bow, maybe I can use it. But if you see a bow and a green hat, um, some people might actually you know, think about Robin Hood. If you add just a sword somewhere hanging on the wall or something like that, no one will connect that with um, with King Arthur, but if you add um, stone and and the sword, everyone thinks about that. And if it's even by the lake, <laughs> even even more. So um, um, I want to add a little bit, kind of you know, um, deeper world, and um, 
I like folk, folk heroes a lot, so I want to kind of here and there add a couple, you know, suggestions or um, things about folk heroes. And uh, that was actually, you know, pre create thing that I did with Krzysztof. We were just chatting, and we came up with this an idea with this idea, and uh, I I was actually quite impressed how to add something to the game that it's made from only two items and give you suggestion about you know something <laughs> so uh so that's uh, that's you know um kind of you know uh, side story <laughs> um but um discussion with someone actually is really great idea i think uh it's uh brainstorming and you know when you when you have someone to discuss uh and i'm in this lucky situation that i can discuss with Krzysztof, uh things like that so um so so that's that's it from me oh, uh, oh, well, let's get to, to, to it to this level you can also ask other questions Marcin, i will uh even add something more interesting yeah uh, if you add some I know, for example this sword or even from different stories, anything. Yeah. This yeah. is, for example, tip maybe maybe a tip uh, for the third part of Janosik. Maybe this is this will be a theme story of next part. Mm, I like the way you're thinking. I like the way you're thinking. Actually, I have to say I didn't think about Janosik three uh, because uh, I have um you know lots to do in Yanoshik too but i like where the way you're thinking i like the way you're I'm thinking. Not, uh, saying this is the, the the way it will go but maybe think about Yanoshik 3 and story and play something in Yanoshik 2 to maybe. Give, give players the uh, this thoughts on the back of their heads maybe there is something more Maybe there will be an. I like that idea. And did you ever play a game called uh, Bro Force? Uh, it's a, it's game, like this one, two D game. You go left, right. You shooting enemies. Uh, but um, do you know that game, Bro Force? Uh, I know, I know that game. I know that game. You know that. And there, there are loads of uh, heroes, but from the from the movies, uh, except they are not uh, from the movies, like. Uh, you know, it's like suggestion. Like th there would be Rambo uh, or Bruce Lee, but they call differently. Um, uh, Rambo would be called uh, something with bra. It's always something with bra. Uh, uh, anyway, that's the you know bra force thing. Uh, but um, 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 I kind of want to say that um, those heroes they had nothing to do but they put all the heroes in one in one place and uh, and the game was great actually uh fantastic the only things they had in common was just they were heroes from 80s or 90s uh, and that's it so why not maybe do a game about folk heroes uh where you have not exactly you know um uh, um, superheroes from movies, but folk heroes are great as well. They have their own superpowers, uh, like um, like you know Robin Hood or or who, whoever or Yanoshik. They're all just you know uh, superheroes from the past, <laughs> I would say. So uh, yeah, it's quite interesting to have all kind of old superheroes, uh, folk heroes in one game. Uh, interesting idea, I have to say. Interesting idea. You just gave me that idea, so why not? Why not? Maybe in Yanoshik 3 we'll have uh, more and more uh, heroes where we have <laughs> in King Arthur or, or Robin Hood or, or, I don't know, Zoro. Or, although Zoro probably is not a folk hero. Uh, it's like um, he's from the book. I'm not 100% sure, I, but... I don't think it's a problem. He's a hero, so... Why not? A hero, yeah, he's a hero. D'Artagnan or um, you know uh, musketeers. Yeah, uh, yeah. Those are, are, are great stories. We got uh, also a question, another question from Caspius. Yeah. Uh, is yeah. your game based somehow on the story from the Polish Janosik? 
Are you serious? <laughs> no, it's not. It has nothing to do with with, with the movie. Uh, it's a uh, it's a whole subject. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, I watched that movie when I was young, and uh, I was thinking that Janosik it's Polish. Uh, but uh, someone told me, my friend, that he's not Polish. He's from Slovakia, and. Um, uh, actually, he is from Slovakia. There is proper um, information on the Wikipedia and uh, some other websites. There is a quite exact time when he was born and, and died. There are documents and things like that. Uh, and um, the Janosik in Polish series is... Um, uh, is in one in, in one episode he's telling about that that he is not Janosik Janosik he's saying that, that there was Janosik in Slovakia and he is kind of you know he has that name uh, uh, so uh, basically uh, that's one thing that I wanted to say uh, but the other thing is when I would um, do a game about Janosik that uh, it's, a, it's a movie it's I would have to probably get some licenses uh, and things like that uh, it could be complicated um, with, with with you know using um, a movie so, a movie that was created by someone so if it's based on something that it's created by someone, um, you know, there are a lot of complicated, you know, um, uh, things, low things, uh, there is uh, licenses and things like that. But when I base my game on the folk hero that used to live uh, and um, uh, it's, there are loads of legends and people making those legends and uh, not so much in polish but there are a couple of legends in polish as well but if you go to uh slovakia janosik is everywhere and they make loads of different movies those comedies and things like you know um comics uh, uh about janosik and you know every every year there is there are a couple you know creation about janosik in, in Slovakia. So um they base that on actually on on the folk hero itself and they don't have to you know um pay licenses and things like that. So my game it's based on legends because uh for for one thing I don't have to deal with all the licenses and things like that. Uh and uh, it's much more flexible as well. It's super flexible because when I would base um, uh, the game on the Polish movie, um, that was quite realistic, kind of, I suppose. Uh, it was very... Um, there was no place for magic or anything like that. But in Legends, there there is always place for magic. So that's why I can uh, introduce vampire. I can introduce werewolf. I can introduce actually some witches and things like that in in the game. And I prefer to go this way, to go in the fantasy way, um, because it's game. Um, I I'm not really realistic kind of you know. <laughs> Sorry guys, but uh, um, maybe if I would be more kind of you know into realistic and game would be would be could be based on movie but i i prefer to 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 use you know fantasy worlds and and magic and things like that so i i couldn't use um polish polish movie although it was good it was good it was um one of the best the music was great uh and uh and the actor was Brilliant, it was really brilliant. So I have great memories about that movie. We would not do the Yanoshik in the fantasy world. We would not get those great skeletons to kill, guys. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> skeletons, <laughs> and uh, you know all the magic and things like that would be would be probably not appropriate for for that kind of game. So I uh, I use magic and fantasy and uh, you know and things like that in in that game. Uh, but I, I, like fantasy. I, I really like fantasy, so 
that's not bothering me at all. <laughs> this is my basic, basically the favorite genre, fantasy world. In every yeah, game. No, every yeah, game. I, I like the I like I like fantasy as well. Where I like all type of fantasies. Um, recently, I um, uh, I discovered a couple books. Um, the author it's called Filipiuk. Uh, uh, that's Polish author, but he's um, making uh, books about um, uh, Jakub Wendrychowicz. That's one thing. It's very funny, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's loads of magic and, and things like that. But also there are a couple other books that he, he wrote and they kind of based on history, but with the fantasy elements um, or, you know, a little bit of kind of, you know, supernatural forces or some things like that. So let's say there will be story about um, World War II, but there will be some kind of um, um, stories like from Ar Archive X, you know, <laughs> uh, some kind of, you know, um, um, how to say that, uh, cre creatures. Uh, that have some kind of extra powers or something like that. So uh, it's quite interesting. Anyway, uh, I, I like that kind of of uh, stories where you have a little bit of, you know, um, stretch and, and and fantasy things, or maybe ghost stories or something like that. If you like that. if you are interested, I can recommend you uh, Morgan yeah. Rice, uh, the Sorcerer's Ring. It's really nice story and. There's a lot of books in the series. I'm right now Very on the nice. on yes. the, on the night yes. one. Absolutely, absolutely. Did you read that? Could you write me that on the chat, maybe? Yeah, so yeah. Maybe I will, everyone. I'll read, <clears throat> write that. Uh, it's 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 a story about the young boy. He he starts yeah. the story starts when he he's young, and there's a mystery about his his background because he was not his father is not his father. He was just. Uh, Gave yeah. to, to 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 the guy. And, All right, just to, and, to, okay. and we slowly discover his 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 background, his father, his mother, and it turns out it's kind of mystical. So uh, there is mystery there. Yeah, there's mystery. So he doesn't and, know his past, and yes, he's discovering his yes. parents. Uh, and this boy is is the dream like of this boy is to become a, a, a knight in the kingdom. Ooh. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got thought, night story, yeah. mystery, sorcery, dragons. We got everything. So uh, I really recommend that, you this, this this series. Straight this away, series. I love I love fantasy things like that. Absolutely perfect for me. Write me in the in the chat, and I will I will dis, uh, discover that. I will I will you know check check this out. So thank you, thank you for my for that digger. Um, you know, um, oh, Jenny Mac, can you believe it? Uh, it's 7 p.m. Oh, that, that went fast. <laughs> that went so fast. I didn't, <laughs> I did kitchen and armory. <laughs> and I wanted to add a little bit of um, a dining room, but I didn't have chance. I think we were uh, talking too much. <laughs> we're talking, but the, it was good chat. It was good yeah. chat because we discovered a couple of things. Um, we exchange thoughts about different things, so I, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you for for that, Digger, and everyone on the chat. Uh, that's um, that's good thing, actually. That's good thing to do to exchange thoughts uh, and you know experiences, books, uh, movies, and things like that. So uh, thank you for that, guys. And well, I guess I will finish the chat and. Um, and I will see you next week. Next week uh, at the same time, Tuesday at um, 7 p.m. Central European time. And uh, also, if you want to guys uh, visit the other streamers from Retro Vibe, every day, every day from Monday to Friday, you can you can uh, go on this channel and and you know see our uh, programmers and uh, game designers, and we all do some interesting games so you're most welcome if you want to visit us uh, so that's it from me thank you very much for being with me and uh, well, have a nice day have a nice day guys thank you bye thank you bye 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 digger